um, very interesting experience, um, educational experience. But uh, firstly, if I can yeah, just acknowledge the team, well done on this evening and all your efforts in Papua New Guinea. Uh, yes, thank you for another round of applause, and all of the team. And also the sponsors. I think uh, these types of events are really important to connect like-minded individuals. And as uh, Stephen mentioned, it's about giving back and contributing to the development of Papua New Guinea. It's a really important time as we transition, uh, as we develop our country. And so every little bit counts. Every cent, every donation, every contribution, every bit of advice, or even just sharing knowledge, whatever you can give is really valuable. Especially because 85% of our people are in the rural communities. Um, but before I share any more, can I just ask all the ladies, can you all put your hand, one hand up so everyone else, well, all of us can see who the ladies or where the ladies are here. Okay, let's see how many females are there here tonight. Put your, put your hand up. Someone help me by guessing. 30? 40? So if you can keep your hands up, everyone from maybe yourself back to Roxanne on that side, put your hands down. So you keep yours up. Everyone on the left, keep, keep your hands up. Including yourself. So in Papua New Guinea, if they had a room full of Papua New Guinean women, all of these women would, be, would experience family sexual violence in their lifetime. Put your hands up. Thank you. That's how serious family sexual violence is in Papua New Guinea. So you can imagine all the women in your life, two out of three are going to experience some kind of family sexual abuse in their life. And I'm going to guess that even some of us now have been in this room here have either been through it, are going to go through it, or know someone who's been through it. So it's a real issue that's happening, but as you know, we often keep it quiet and we don't talk about it because it's taboo. Um, so family sexual violence in Papua New Guinea, that equates to about 2.3 million women. And how we look at it, so picture this for a moment. Joe is beating up Mary. This is how we, we look at it today. Then tomorrow we say, Joe beat up Mary. Then as time goes on, we say Mary got beat up by Joe. And then as time goes on even more, in future weeks, we say, oh, Mary's a battered woman. Isn't that how we talk about it? And so all the services are going towards Mary, which is really important because she's traumatized, she's abused, she's, her mindset has shifted, she's become a victim. But my question is, who? Who is Joe abusing right now? Who has helped Joe heal and overcome his challenges? So I run an organization called Warrior Culture, and what we do is we help the 2.3 million men of Papua New Guinea to overcome their challenges and the reasons why they committed that family sexual violence in the first place. Because we're focused, we believe that if you help a man and if you understand family sexual violence and that man at the root of his personal challenges, it's a man that's suffering. It's a man that's suffering from low self-esteem and he's got mindset issues, but he's only acting out the beliefs that he's been taught. What Stephen shared before. So we believe more in the prevention um, it is very important, yes, please help Mary uh, because she needs help. But why don't we try and stop it before it happens uh, in the first place? So our group has been, Warrior Culture has been in existence since about uh, October 2013. And it came about because at the time of the National Women's House Cry, if anyone can remember back in Mosby, uh, Women were asking for men to be castrated and uh, uh, experience other quite um, violent and inhumane acts. 
and they weren't seeing the big picture. And you can understand it when you've experienced that. Um, however, we believe that this is the other piece, especially because if you lock away the man or if you don't treat that, there's a family that's broken right there. So why don't we heal the, ma the men? Why don't we heal the women who are also experiencing uh, low self-esteem and who are also violent, they're emotionally abusive, psychologically, um, uh, financially abusive towards the men, uh, towards the men sometimes as well. So why don't we look at it in a more holistic uh, and more realistic context than point fingers. Uh, so I started that 2013. Since then we have helped communities uh, in the villages, mainly around Port Moresby. We also work with corporates, training their, um, their teams. We work with All Search Foundation, Digital Foundation. Uh, I go up to Simberry Gold Mine for the last two years and we run a warrior culture program, Real Men, Real Talk. So we have frank conversations talking about men's issues and just just the stuff, you know, the voice in your head that limits you and tells you you're not good enough sometimes. All of us experience it, whether you're Polish or Norwegian or American or Chinese, Malaysian, Australian, PNG. So what we're talking about is human development, not Papua New Guinea.